and welcome back to Beverly Stunning Creations. I'm really excited about today's video because I'm bringing you a simpler version of one of my favorite DIYs that's really inexpensive and easy to make. First, I'll show you how to create this beautiful wall decor featuring this Dollar Tree butterfly. One of my subscribers requested a religious DIY for Mother's Day. So I designed this beautiful Dollar Tree cross to match the wall decor as well. So now you have a couple of options to choose from or use one of your own. Now on to the DIY. To get started, you'll need one of these Dollar Tree shadow boxes. Here I'm sharing a skew just in case you need it. First thing you want to do is to remove the hook from the shadow box and save it for later. Now take a butter knife or a flathead screwdriver and remove the box from the frame. When you remove the box from the frame, it will collapse. So I'm going to take some hot glue and glue it back together a little bit later. But first I'm going to scrape the wording off the glass. I'm pretty sure that you can use a nail polish remover to remove it, but I'm going to use a utility knife. Now just wipe off the debris and clean it with some glass cleaner. Now I'll use some hot glue to glue my box back together. After you glue your box back together, reinsert it inside the frame to make sure it still fits. Now that we see the box still fits inside the frame, let's move on to the framed mirror. Remove the frame from the packaging and then separate all three parts. Remove the stand from the back part of the frame and then just put it aside for later. Now remove the mirror from inside the frame and put it aside for a future project. Next thing I'm going to do is spray paint all three pieces silver. Make sure you spray paint the inside and outside of both frames and the box. And I'll be using the Silver Metallic Spray Paint by Krylon. The spray paint has dried on all three pieces, but I'm going to start out with the box. Because I want the background of the box to be blingy, I'm going to mix some Mod Podge and glitter together and paint the inside of the box. After I painted on the mixture, I made sure that it was smooth and then put it aside to dry. Now remember the hook that we removed from the box earlier? We'll glue that to the back that we took from the white frame. I'm going to use some E6000 for a strong hold along with some hot glue that will give it an immediate hold. Once I glued the hook down, I added a small piece of cardboard on top to give it more security. Next, I'll be taking some of these Dollar Tree acrylic diamonds and glue them randomly in place inside the box. I'll start out by gluing a diamond in each corner at the top of the box. I'll make sure that the diamonds are not sitting higher than the box. If that happens, you won't be able to put the glass back in place. So check the position of your diamond before you hot glue it down. It's going to take about a pack and a half of diamonds to fill in the box. Continue to hot glue the diamonds in place and when you're done, your box will look like this. Next, I'm going to add some silver glitter to my shadow box frame. This step is optional. You do not have to do this. But if you decide to, all you have to do is brush on some Mod Podge, sprinkle on the glitter, let it dry, 
Once it dries, seal it in place with some hairspray. After about 30 minutes, I checked to make sure that the hairspray was dry. I then glued the glass back inside the frame. I used some of the Dollar Tree Fix-All glue, but you can use the glue of your choice. I applied some of the same glue to the outside of my box and then reinserted it into the frame. Now I'm going to reinsert the back into the back of the frame and then hot glue it in place. Next, we'll be gluing this box on top of the frame. I want to make sure that it's a permanent hole, so I'm spreading some E6000 around the frame. Before I glued the box in place, I decided to add one row of bling around the box for a more finished look. After you glue your box to your frame, you should have something that looks like this. You can see how it's coming together. The diamonds look really beautiful inside the box. Before we move on to the next step, make sure that your hook is at the top of the frame. In the next step, I'm giving you a few options that you can use. First up, I have this cross that I found at Dollar Tree. One of my subscribers asked me a few weeks ago if I could do something religious related for Mother's Day, so this is an option. I know a lot of my subscribers really love butterflies. I found this butterfly wind chime in the garden section at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to remove the butterfly from it and decorate it to look more like the one sold at Walmart. Now I've given you a few options, but you can use anything you want. But make sure the scale of the item that you choose goes well with the size of your frame. Next, I'll spray paint this cross and butterfly silver. First up, I'm going to decorate this butterfly. As you can see, I spray painted the entire butterfly silver. Because I want my butterfly to be sparkly as well, I'm going to mix the Mod Podge and glitter together and paint the entire butterfly except for the bottom of the body with the mixture. Once you're done, put it aside to dry. Moving on to the cross, I'm going to paint the entire cross with the mixture as well. Now put the cross aside to dry as well. Now that the mixture has dried on my butterfly, I'm going to trim the outside of my butterfly with my podge and then sprinkle on some glitter. If you decide to do this step, use a small brush to trim out the butterfly and Mod Podge. When you're done adding your glitter, put your butterfly aside to dry and then seal the glitter with hairspray. Back to my cross, I added some glitter to the bottom and trimmed the outside of the cross with glitter as well. After the glitter dried, I sealed it with hairspray as well. Now back to the butterfly, I added some rhinestones to it to give it even more sparkle. You'll see that the butterfly has some circles in the design. I simply hot glue different sized rhinestones onto those circles. I also glued rhinestones onto the body where it was connected to the wind chime. When you're done decorating your butterfly, glue it to the frame. Use some hot glue along with some type of strong glue for a permanent hold. Now back to my cross, I simply decorated it with some strips of bling and one rhinestone in the center of the cross. I used hot glue to glue the bling and the rhinestone onto the cross. And here's what the finished cross looks like. Now I'm going to glue this onto the frame as well. Before you glue it on, make sure that your hook is at the top of the frame. Check your cross to make sure that it's straight. And when you're done, you'll have this beautiful piece of art that was inexpensive and very easy to make. Okay everyone, this completes my DIY. 
I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave me a thumbs up let's get this video up to 2,000 likes also don't forget to comment your favorite design below and if you're visiting my channel for the first time and like what you see please subscribe see you in the next one thanks so much for watching